Juri nangis ya? Takut dia mungkin. Dia biasa kalau ada pohon dia naik terus. Atau kalau di sini dia sudah berhenti dan... Oh. Tunggu, tunggu. Ini masih ransel. Oh, sebentar lagi matahari ada. The first group, those I probably will remember best for all of my life. One of the favorites is called Waikiki. He was a little bit like a hooligan. We got him in the transport box. He was then jumping on me and playing rough, biting me in the leg, and I was trying to grab him, and he was biting into my finger and broke it twice. So people were a bit scared of Waikiki. After I was standing in front of the cages, then Waikiki came and was sitting like two or three meters from me, and just came in a little closer and closer and closer. And when he was next to me, he put an arm around me to make sure, hey, we are still friends. That was kind of really funny, with this kind of, of rowdy woody or angleton. And it came like that and was really like, hey, we are friends. <laughs> it's kind of this kind of funny stuff you, you experience if you work with orangutans. Chimpanzees, gorillas and orangutans, these are really our next relatives in the forest. The Sumatran orangutan will be most likely the species that goes extinct first among all those great apes. As we are down to around about 6,000 individuals in the wild, so they are at the moment really at the brink of extinction. And that's why a program like this where we're reintroducing orangutans is so important. Every single individual counts at the moment. I am Betty. I've been eight months here. What we do in jungle school is bring them to the forest and then let them climbing the tree or flying and searching for food by themselves. And who is the uh, who is the naughtiest of all the orangutans? Julius. Julius is a bad boy. Okay, I like Julius much better because he is already such a character. If you are working with them a little bit longer, you know their personalities and you can identify them by their faces. This one's Suri. Hi. Suri, hi, hi, hi. Yeah, this is little Dora, it's the youngest orangutan we have at the moment here. So at the moment she's enjoying our jungle school here, and being around with other orangutans like Suri. And Suri is the one over here that we're ready to release tomorrow, right? Exactly. She's smart enough and big enough to be released. She knows how to find food, she knows how to build a nest. I like Suri because she's smart and she's beautiful. I love her eyes. There's a very strong, very long bond between the mother and their babies seven to nine years. It's one of the longest bonds between mother and babies in an animal kingdom. When Suri feels, I'll be a bit sad, but mostly happy because I want her to be free, live in the jungle and meet the other orangutans. Orangutans share almost 97% of the same genetic material as, as us humans. Really more like our cousins than being animals. The big difference is the orangutan don't destroy their habitat. It's the human race which destroys the orangutan habitat. 
and also their own habitat. The Sumatran rainforest uh, in the last 50 years is uh, shrunk by 70%. So it's only less, less than 30% left only two generations ago. The primary forest is destroyed on the expenses of oil palm plantation. And Indonesia is the number one oil palm producer worldwide. There may be justice, but the forest is gone. Oil palm products are everywhere. It's in, in, in lotions, in cosmetics, lipsticks, in biofuel now. There's a huge demand for biofuel and that makes it so valuable. People back home, or they don't know what kind of harm this product is doing to the environment. The whole solution is on a global level. Every single individual counts at the moment. An individual can look at the products and check out if there is uh, oil palm in it and try to find alternatives. At the end of the day, if people don't buy products built on the expenses of the rainforest, that is a solution. It is a long way to go, no matter how we have to start. Well, we released uh, a bit more than 150 and we know a sustainable population in this area is around about 300 orangutans. We are now going to the final release and mm -hmm. spot some 50 meters from here where we put the box next to a small tree and we will put some fruits on that tree so that Suri hopefully goes straight to this tree and starts climbing and then we will monitor what's gonna happen. If she adjusts nicely or if she starts playing around with us, what we don't hope. So here we are. That's where we try our luck today. The mocking, yeah, okay. Nanti dia saya kesini, putar kesini. Turun dari tanjakan preman, bisa enggak nih? Boknya yang duluan terus. Ini buka, langsung buka. Siap, siap, siap. siap. Oke. humans which killed the mothers so they are all orphaned orangutans and now we're trying to make up what other humans made wrong with them it's a human mistake from the very beginning and we try to remedy as, as good as we can
We lost track uh, of Waikiki years ago when he was really somewhere here in, in the surrounding. And maybe one day we are lucky to, to see him. I mean, I'm happy not to see him. That means we did our job right. The kind of job you do for all of your lifetime. If I would tell my kids one thing, it would be there is a tomorrow. <laughs>